last summer, Australia were able to comprehensively defeat Pakistan in the local one day series. And since the 2016-17 summer has ended, Australia have failed to win any one day internationals. They lost 2-0 when they played in New Zealand for the Chapel Hadley series. They failed to win a game in the Champions Trophy. And now they are losing three, they are three nil down, losing to India with two, day, two games to go. So, in the off-season period of 2017, it has been very bad for Australia. And so, it's only been two and a half years since they won the World Cup. And when you look at what Australia has done in One Day Internationals in the time since, they've lost to South Africa, they've lost in all sorts of little tournaments here and there, Their record is becoming really bad, and so you would think that in order to redress this, in order to find a way to resolve this problem, they would double down on their efforts of building up a big base of domestic one-day cricketers, so that when the time came, they would have lots of talent to call upon in order to get back onto the winning team. But Australia, Cricket Australia, are looking in the opposite direction. They continue to downplay and minimise the role that domestic one-day cricket is playing within Australia, focusing just on 2020 and first-class cricket. And it doesn't look good. So, for the last four seasons, the Domestic Australia One Day Tournament has been reduced to a pre-season tournament that happens over the course of October when the weather is still cold, when the pitches are wet and slow, when many players are still coming back from injuries, and most of the Australian, te most of the Australian players are still off on other tours and it just seems to be a way of getting it over and done with as fast as possible with as little fuss so that they can move on to the actual cricket which is the Sheffield Shield and so most of the games are played in the minor grounds of New South Wales and Queensland uh, Premier Cricket. The games are often have no have little crowd at all. They're not promoted. And also the tournaments are very short. Instead of it being a full a full accordance Instead of it being a full allotment of 10 games where each state plays each other twice, it is reduced to the point where each state plays each other once, plus there is the Cricket Australia 11, which means everyone plays six games, and then there's the finals. So the game is, the tournament is cut to its barest minimum. It's minimized in importance. It's just a little tournament that happens in the springtime before the actual cricket can start. And now, for the first time, this tournament will not even be broadcast on the television. In years gone by, it was filmed by Foxtel, and then later it was re bought by Channel 9, and, you know. Channel 9 didn't broadcast all the games because some of them 
were competing uh, with the football and they didn't bother. But Channel 9 broadcast most of the games of the tournament and it was good to watch as a sort of warm-up for the summer of cricket ahead. I enjoyed watching the One Day Cup for the last three years over the course of October. And now Channel 9 have withdrawn. So this tournament, this one day domestic tournament, will be on no televisions, except it will be live streamed through cr the Cricket Australia website. And it's clear, Cricket Australia do not care about this little one day tournament, and if they could get rid of it, they could, they would. If there was a way to actually abolish this tournament, and not have to play one day domestic cricket at all, and yet retain the ability to play one day international cricket, I am certain that Australia cricket I am certain that Cricket Australia would take that. And so they're doing the next best thing, which is relegating it absolutely to the point of irrelevance in the shadows. Not to mention the fact that performances in the one day domestic tournament have no impact on selection. You can score as many runs as you want, or take as many wickets as you want in this domestic one day tournament, and you will not improve your position at all to getting selected. It's only performances in the Sheffield Shield that allow you to get into the one day international team. And so for players like Cameron White and Callum Ferguson, it just doesn't matter what they do, because it's never enough to get back into the team. And so Cricket Australia ignore this one day tournament. They don't care about it. They'd like it to go with it. And they would abolish it if they could. And it's just so pathetic and miserable that they would do this. And it seems like they're signing, they're digging their own grave. Cricket Australia are assigning themselves their own misery. And they will reap all the misery that they deserve for this.